Welcome to Optiver, Boaz. Thank you. I think it's been about a year since we announced our partnership with ShareGain, and finally good to have you here in person and get to talk about what exactly it is we're doing. Can you tell me a little bit about what ShareGain actually does and how it got started? We are a UK-based fintech um, democratizing a niche in capital markets called securities lending. Uh, and I always find it funny because this is a $3 trillion niche. What exactly is securities lending? Securities lending is actually very simple. It's the ability of an owner of stocks or bonds or ETFs to rent out um, their securities in return for a fee. Now, why would anyone want to borrow securities? Because every strategy that requires short selling requires borrowing against it. The thing about securities lending is that even though you and I have the basic right to rent out our assets, through the years it was big asset managers, big pension funds, insurance companies, uh, big banks who have built the, the infrastructure and that line of business to be able to, um, to benefit. And what Shergen is all about is opening it up and enabling every investor to benefit from that basic ownership right. That really speaks to something that we saw from Optiver's perspective in Shergen. Market makers are one of the biggest borrowers of stocks, bonds, ETFs as their normal course of business. So being able to have a good, healthy securities lending marketplace for us to come to with all kinds of participants in it allows us to tighten our spreads. We like the word disruption, um, we, but we look at it a different way. We call it disruptive collaboration. So we've decided, yes, the disruption with the view or with the analogy of, of innovation, um, but we bring that disruption, that innovation into an old ecosystem by collaborating with the existing big players. You know, as disruptive collaborators, we found that you know there's always there's a, there's a wind of change also in securities lending, and now also you know the biggest banks in the world, the biggest custodians are looking for a change, uh, are looking for innovation in securities lending. Ed, what does Optifer look in a partner? We highly emphasize the strategic part of the strategic investments. So therefore, we're looking for something that's quite relevant to our business, but isn't duplicative. The typical partners that we've worked with so far are brokers, exchanges, post-trade services like securities lending, also clearing banks and clearing houses. Looking further afield, you can imagine technology platforms in spaces where we don't have our own expertise, like an order management system, or even it can be market makers in asset classes or domains where we haven't been active in ourselves. And Boaz, what do you look for in a partner? We definitely look for, for partners with capital markets expertise. Um, it is such a complex labyrinth that one needs to know uh, how to get successfully uh, and to the other side. But more importantly, we're looking for partners that share the same DNA that we share. And at the end of the day, DNA plus expertise is the winning uh, formula for partnerships. What are some of the biggest trends you're seeing right now in the financial markets? It's super interesting. What we're seeing, I think the, the, the most, the biggest super trend that we're still seeing, and, and we're huge believers, is private investor participation in capital markets. That genie is out of that bottle, right? And, and never to come back. Uh, we're seeing its demographics, its technology. Um, we're seeing private investors uh, from retail to ultra high net worth individuals becoming smarter, becoming savvier. And as the volumes grow as, and as they participate more um, in capital markets, they're demanding the same rights. Yeah, I think that makes a lot of sense. And what we always look for in our investments is something that brings competition and levels the playing field. And two, it brings technological innovation to otherwise overlooked parts of the financial marketplace. What we're seeing now in fintech, and that is cool, um, is is capital markets is, is being um, is being disrupted and innovated to a level that I I haven't seen in the last 20 years. And I think the name of the game is how does how do we, as as intermediaries in the financial markets that bring technology and looking to advance and innovation. Um, and access and dem democratization as a whole. How do we e make sure that we do it and we, we are still remained absolutely trustworthy? And I think there's no shortcuts. It takes time.